Hi everybody, it's me, Beth Maitland from Drama Queen Bee Quilt Studio, and um, I am home here in the beautiful central coast of California on a gray spring day and getting ready to jump in the car and head down to Los Angeles to do my other, one of my other millions of careers. I did a quick um, vlog post just a few minutes long from a pilot that I was working on, not as an actor, but in the booth, in the production booth, it's one of my other careers, um, I work in sitcom production. And I was fortunate enough to book last week and this week two lovely pilots, which I can't say very much about, and you'll find out shortly why. But I wanted to talk to you briefly and introduce the next thing you're going to see will be me with a mask on. And uh, it will be from a lovely cement bench in the shade at the beautiful uh, television lot and movie lot, CBS Radford, which is their studio center. Um, and now they have the corporate offices there for CBS. CBS and Viacom. And um, it is a, uh, you'll hear some uh, some of my remembrances too. Um, it is a lot full of history, but it is not for the public. There's no tours or um, you can't really go there and see it. Um, you can perhaps if you're a studio audience. Um, and we are just about to uh, shoot the very first audience show on a pilot that I'm working on since the pandemic began. It will be socially distanced. It will be very few people allowed in the audience and they will all be masked. There will be plexiglass screens between them and the stage. And a lot of protocols have been put in place, but it is the it is a kind of ground setting that we are about to kind of break the wall and get kind of back into um, a old uh, production values and, and practices, and we'll see how it all goes. But in the meantime, I wanted to introduce this um, by also saying, when you hear um, me go on and on about the lot, it's mostly about what I did while I was in production. Hey, everybody. It's me, Beth Maitland, Drama Queen Bee Quilt Studios, but not today. Today, I am at CBS Radford. It's the CBS Studio Center. And there's the parking structure and there's a building full of um, all kinds of fancy dressing rooms and offices and suites and conference rooms and the like. And um, I have not been doing my little vlogging. This would be, I believe, number 12. Um, I have not been doing all of that because um, I've been doing my production job. Many of you don't know that I also have, oh, I don't know, I have about six careers, <laughs> teaching and quilting and quilt teaching. And I also teach acting and I taught school for a while. And um, then my Young and Restless acting job and other acting jobs. And I also work in production, in TV sitcom production. And this week I'm doing a pilot. And um, I can't tell you too much about it because I've um, signed um, non-disclosure agreements, but I can take a few moments here on this lovely lot on this beautiful California day to uh, check in with you and tell you I'm thinking about you. Um, I have some new projects uh, as soon as I get home that I plan to do with you. One of them is building my favorite block and one of them is um, uh, we are going to make uh, some textural three-dimensional fabric flowers. And so I will be getting all of that stuff ready for the next couple of vlogs. Um, I'll be returning on the weekend to my home and uh, we'll have some time perhaps over the weekend to take care of that. But in the meantime, I just wanted to check in with you and tell you about this additional job that I have and this other um, um, odd career that um, actually is just fantastic and super fun. Um, I've been doing this for about 23 years on and off. Uh, I, uh, one of my first shows was Third Rock from the Sun. I think you may have, uh, many of you might remember that with John Lithgow and Jane Curtin. Um, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt and many, French Stewart and Kristen Johnson, many other fabulous and talented actors. Um, Wayne Knight, Uncle Wayne, he's just an adorable guy, and also a Young and the Restless fan, so we had lots to talk about at the coffee machine. Um, I worked on an Emerald Lagasse sitcom with Emerald, the fabulous chef, Bam, um, and um, I worked on Caroline in the City um, with Leah Thompson, and so many shows it's hard to name, but Baby Daddy for ABC, um, uh, really uh, the odd couple reboot and the most recent one before COVID was One Day at a Time reboot uh, Mr. Norman Lear who um, celebrated his 
um, I want to say 95th birthday with us and gave everybody a copy of his biography that came out, his autobiography that came out while we were shooting, starring Rita Moreno and uh, again, a cast of lovely, talented comedy actors. So um, it's the other side of my, I'm drama queen, B quilt studio, but I'm also uh, spent about 23 years uh, in a comedy career as well. Um, so. I just wanted to kind of check in with you. Um, I'll be adding to this uh, a little bit later on our lunch break. Um, just can, kind of ran out at a quiet moment on a little bit of a break to tell you uh, that I will be back in touch with actual quilting things uh, to do shortly. But I wanted to get this vlog in because sort of part of video logging, which is what vlogs sort of is the semi acronym for, part of that is. Um, that you talk about your life uh, as well as your interests and that you talk about other things that you do with your time and so you and i have talked about you know working out in my garden with my daughter we've talked about um all my pets uh, some of that we haven't done all of that but um, i am going to uh, continue to add things about just my regular life that you may not know about me also to sort of fill in the blanks i know we all have really um, diverse hobbies and choices, uh, careers and families. We learned a lot about each other in the comment section underneath, where do we all live? Um, so maybe in the comment section of this one, you can tell me about your careers. Um, you can tell us, all of us that are tuning in from time to time to this vlog. Um, so in the comment section below, um, please leave me a comment and tell me what careers you have. You, or have had, um, what you do for a living, what you did for a living, what you do for fun, what you do for uh, an avocation, um, let me know in the comment section below and we kind of check on each other and learn these things about each other. Um, teachers, uh, doctors, nurses, uh, lawyers, Indian chiefs. <laughs> Um, but this will be a good chance for all of us to sort of get to know each other in a different way. And I'm going to be uh, talking to you in a few minutes from another location. We're at the north end of the Radford lot and it is the new section. All of these new office buildings and the parking structure behind me have been built within the last eight years or so. And they are all, um, this is the spot where all the, um, uh, you know, a lot of people, um, a lot of people uh, don't even know about this. We're on the north side of what used to be the Gilligan's Island Lagoon. And until very recently, these, build these buildings have replaced that whole area that used to be the lagoon. Um, it was where they shot Gilligan's Island. Gunsmoke was shot here in the olden days. And this used to be the Republic Studios back in the old movie Western days. So lots of history here, although it's not commercial at all. There's not tours you can take. Um, there's a lot of things that have happened on this lot that we all know and would appreciate. So I'll be back with you on our dinner break and give you a little bit more information. In the meantime, I hope you're all having a great day, staying safe, staying warm, um, or if you're lucky like me and have a beautiful uh, temperate spring happening around you, that you're enjoying a beautiful the beautiful weather. Um, we'll be back shortly, and in the comments below, be sure and tell me what you do for a career, and we'll talk soon. But I wanted to also add that um, I... CBS Radford is the very first movie lot I ever was on. When I moved to Los Angeles in the 80s, um, the late 70s actually, right before the 80s, and um, I went to film school, and it was at a school right across the street, and the film school was a nonprofit, and it was a private school, and we were allowed to use the sound stages for our evening uh, acting classes. And I ended up going on to work for them as a production manager. I set up all of the different uh, stages with chairs and lights and equipment uh, to videotape all the acting scenes that we were, that each lab was doing in the evening. And um, I also dressed sets twice a month. We did a guest director program where actors would audition for a real casting director who would volunteer their time for us. He would cast uh, or she would cast the scenes. Then a real director would 
working in the industry would come in and direct those scenes for us. And um, with student actors and student crew, uh, they would try to get their coverage and shoot the scene like they would on a real set. And we did that twice a month. And it was just a spectacular opportunity for young actors and directors, because it also was a directing program, to get a chance to work with real working industry professionals. And I still get to work with them every now and then. And we get to reminisce about those days at the film industry workshops. Um, I left after 18 years when they finally closed the workshop as their um, uh, vice president. And um, both of the people who developed the school, um, I was on staff there as a teacher for probably 15 years. And um, then by the time I left, I was vice president. They We ended up having to close the facility. And now there's beautiful luxury condos where those offices used to be right across the street from CBS Radford. But I do remember those days. And I run into people every now and then um, who also remember as student members, director members, or people who volunteered their time to help young uh, budding actors and directors learn. So it was a tremendous time in my life. And it all started at the lot you're just uh, watching me broadcast from, um, CBS Studio Center in Studio City, California. Anyway, I wanted to add that little bit of um, personal history and and uh, hopefully close out this uh episode, this vlog, number 12, uh, with uh, remin these reminiscences. And um, I, I was also wanting to, again, encourage you to go down below and um, I have to state my vitals. Uh, please um, uh, like this, uh, like my site, subscribe if you wish, like this video, and very much hope that uh, you will be able to post down below what is your career, what has been your avocation, uh, whether you're retired from it or whether you're still working in those fields. Let me, let's let all have a convert, have this conversation about, you know, one of the very essential things to our well-being, first of all, income for our sustenance, as well as um, sort of who we are. It's a big portion of our life and our commitment to time, what we do for a living, what we do um, to earn money and be productive and useful. Uh, anyway, it's been a real pleasure um, this last couple of weeks being useful again, although it is very time consuming. I put in 13 hour days. It's 12 hours on the clock with an hour in the middle for lunch and um, not very much time because of protocols. We can't leave the studio lot and we test regularly and the protocols to keep everyone safe have sort of sort of taken over the calendar in terms of um, have, I have had to drive in two separate times round trip to Los Angeles just to be pre-tested before I was able to work. And so, and then test on the day with rapid testing. So um, COVID-19 is still um, rearing its challenges for um, people in Los Angeles, especially that are in the movie business and trying to stay safe and productive, trying to make sure that the actors are safe and trying to make sure that the crew and staff uh, remain um, diligent, e even away from the studio um, in order for, we have, my daughter and I still are self-quarantining in order for me to be available for work when it comes up. And um, it is uh, really challenging not re-entering the world like so many people are. Um, where I live also, the vaccines are scarce. Um, I'm not yet vaccinated. So we're looking forward to provisions for making those choices um, as, the, as the weeks ahead unfold. So anyway, um, I want to thank you so much for tuning in for this kind of unusual but um, part of vlogging vlog episode. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, tell us about what you have done to be productive in your lives. And um, I want to thank you so much for being a part of my journey. I hope everybody is creative, safe, and well. Thank you very much. Happy spring. And we'll be back with another episode soon. It's Beth Maitland with Drama Queen Bee Quilt Studio.